Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Sila moment here on Thursday at Christ the Rock Community Church. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a verse on in Scripture from Isaiah 41, verses 14 through 15. Before we go there, let's open up in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us this brief moment, Lord, to spend together to talk about your word, Father, and the message that you have for us, Father, that you, Lord, have the power to transform, Father God, that you, Lord, strengthen the weak, and that you, Father, make us strong. We thank you, Father, for all of this, Lord. I pray, Father, that you open our eyes today, that you open our ears, Lord, to see and to hear you throughout our day. We thank you, Father, for this seal of rest that we get to have today. We thank you, and we worship you. And it's in your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So as I had mentioned, we're going to be talking today about Isaiah 41, verses 14 through 15. And let me read that verse to you. It says, Do not fear, you warm Jacob, you men of Israel. <clears throat> I will help you. The Lord's declaration. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. See, I will make you into a sharp threshing board, new with many teeth. You will thresh mountains and pulverize them and make hills like chaff. So let me give you a little bit of context about this verse. In this t period of time in the book of Isaiah, the people of Israel, the nation of Israel, was being severely oppressed. Oppressed, Essentially, they were being punished by the sins of their forefathers and the current sins that they were dwelling in with worshiping idols. But we see here that in the verse, there's a promise. And we see that in the words of the prophet, that were the words of the Lord. It describes Israel as a worm. Why is Israel being described here as a worm? Whenever we think about a worm, we think of a feeble creature. We, th we think of something that crawls on the earth. We think of something that can be crushed easily, something that can be bruised easily. And this is essentially the state that Israel was found in. Again, a, a worm is a super delicate creature. Uh, really, a small hit can cause irreparable damage to a worm's body. And, you know, we're talking a lot about the worms, but it's, it's important for you guys to understand the importance in the comparison that Isaiah is making here in this verse. But then he doesn't just mention the worm. He mentions a threshing board. A threshing board, or really a threshing sledge, is a tool that's used in farming. It's a very heavy tool with sharp teeth that is used to plow the earth to ensure that seeds go deep into the soil. So we see here that on the verse, Isaiah tells us that your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. See, I will make you into a sharp threshing board, new with many teeth. You will thresh mountains and pulverize them and make hills into chaff. We see here that God, our mighty God, is able to turn that which is feeble, that which is weak, into something strong, into something strong to further his kingdom and to further the work that needs to be done. There are situations and circumstances in our life that essentially make us feel like we're worms, make us feel like we're less than, broken, and useless. But you need to be reminded of the words, the promise that this verse gives us. That though we may be in the feeble state that we are now, He promises to strengthen us. He promises to renew us. Let's be reminded that even through the midst of our circumstances, our situations, God is able to give us an iron will in order for us to plow through the situations that we're in, in order to plow through the difficulties, to persevere and to cut through. It is not for us to do, but it is in His strength that we do this. It is in His strength that we're able to pierce the darkness of our disappointments and in the midst of the darkness, be able to find the grace and the glory that God can bestow upon us. And let's also remind ourselves that God is building a kingdom, but the kingdom that He's building is not like the kingdom that the world's building. The world builds its kingdom with people that are strong, with people that are, that are 
successful, people that seem unbroken. But we know that God's kingdom does not constitute that. We see that God builds his kingdom with the broken, with the desolate, the destitute, the weak. That's the kingdom that God builds. We can even say that really that God, <laughs> that God is the God of the unsuccessful and that he is the God of those who have failed. But it is not a permanent state. It's not a state of failure forever. It is not a state of unsuccessfulness forever. But rather, he uses our weaknesses. He uses our failures to strengthen us and to further us in his purposes, in his ways. In Isaiah 42, verse 3, it reads that a bruised reed he will not break. Imagine, God will not even break a bruised wreath. It means that no matter how you feel right now, no matter how your circumstances may make you feel that this is who you are, be reminded that your situations, your circumstances never determine who you are. But it is God, your creator, who determines who you are. And that even the broken, even the useless, God will use to further in his glory. And he will use that, again, not for you to remain in a permanent state of uselessness or a permanent state of disappointment. That's not what our God wants. But we know that those are temporary states that we are in as we go in and out of seasons. And I want to remind you, that as we're being crushed by the hardships of life, let's be reminded that in that crushing that occurs, God is building an instrument with us. He's building us into instruments, instruments that he will use to make beautiful music, music that will proclaim his goodness and the grace that he's given unto us and that which he wants to give to his people. So I want to encourage you today and remind you uh, from the words of the Psalm, from Psalm 40, Verse 1 through 3, which says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he returned to me and heard my cry for help. He brought me up from the desolate pit, out of the muddy clay, and set my foot on a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. So be reminded that even if you feel as feeble as a worm today, he promises to make you strong, like a sledge, to tear through mountains through territory, through soil, through those situations, through those hardships of life. And as always, we leave off with the reading from Psalm 23, the Good Shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I lack. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. Thank you and Sila. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the video. See you next time.